day three, track day number two, I got moved to the orange class. So, let's see how that one goes. But we gotta get started for the day. Oh, it's cold. So I've realized something. I'm terrible at talking to the camera and setting things up and actually shooting video while I'm doing this. Um, Orange Group, insane, love it. You obviously see the other footage. Uh, I need to buy a new suit now. Um, so I'm gonna buy a new suit. And uh, yeah, then we got one more session before lunch, two sessions after, and I feel like I'm just gonna wrap this up at another time um, after tearing out and that stuff. But uh, yeah, here we go. It is hot today. So I ended up buying a new suit. It's so much better. Yeah! <laughs> right. 
Oh. Are you blowing it out people out there or what? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not as good as you, but we're getting there. Corners, I can hang. Straight, fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah. Did we just become best friends? Another one, man. Dropping like flies, I guess Monday and a long weekend. Oh, we gotta do this shit again. Hey man, I know you. Dude, I'm glad that wasn't you that went down. I was like, oh shit, what you trying to chase me? Yeah, no way. I'm not gonna fuck that, man. But, uh, I was coming in, I'm like, oh, there he is. Like, oops. We're done. It's time to pack up. I'll talk to you when this is all done and we're home. We made it. Holy smokes, was it a good weekend. A few tips and tricks, or just tips, I don't know. Get there a day early, because it's much easier to set up, wake up easy in the morning, make breakfast, then you're ready to go. You're not panicked, you're not trying to move everything there. Obviously, that's the perfect world. If that doesn't exist, just be prepared. Start packing a day or two early. Make sure the bike's ready a day or two early. And I would schedule it just in case you mess anything up, break a bolt, do anything, that you can get it to someone who can help you out before you get to track day. And then the track day itself, I thought, I'm gonna brag a little bit, I impressed myself. I started to learn how to lean more, how to use my butt and hang it off the seat, where to put my elbows, positioning, I mean, I'm starting to scrape boots. I'm starting to really, really lean. I mean, I moved up to the orange class and probably the biggest thing is I wasted $850 on a new suit, but I think it was necessary. That original track suit that I bought just to go to my first track day to experience it was huge. I mean, I, I, I couldn't feel anything. There, there was no feedback. I mean, it, it was terrible. So when I bought this new Alpenstar suit, I mean, it's, it's so tight. It's a second skin. So I would definitely suggest getting a tighter fitting suit because that made a world of difference in confidence and just predictability in knowing where my body is and then making those small adjustments. Now, I did see a couple of people go off the track. There was a few instances that kind of got a little bit sketchy even for me, like losing that 360 camera. Um, so I need to do a little bit better job of mounting some things on the bars and again, just being safe. Um, so overall, I thought it was a great weekend. It was awesome to get out there and see some of my buddies ride, especially for the first time on the track for both of them. Really, really cool experience. So I would suggest giving it a shot yourself. Big shout out to Blackhawk Farms for just producing an insane facility and an awesome experience, as well as the rest of the sponsors, MCC, obviously motivated, put the track date on and so on and so forth. So now the problem is I've moved up to the orange class. I spent $850 on a new suit. I have to buy new boots because I ripped them apart. I gotta go do this more and I gotta figure out a way to do this. So I guess we're gonna turn this bike also into a track bike 
and see what mods we can do do that. But I guess until next time, remember, keep riding. <laughs>